On a rainy Tuesday, October 10, 2017, Natalia Borodina decided to go out for a drive in the outskirts of Punta Cana with her friend Ivana. She made the decision to leave her 11-year-old son back at her hotel. Natalia was a Russian interpreter and mother who was on vacation in the Dominican Republic, and she also worked as a real estate agent back home in Keynes, France. She arrived in the Dominican without knowing that her death was imminent. After spending the day on the beach, on the route back home, Natalia is seen sitting in the passenger seat when she decides to spontaneously take off her bikini top and sticks her upper torso out of the window of the moving vehicle. She begins to sing and dance as her friend holds the steering wheel with her left hand and films Natalia with the other. Natalia playfully sticks her finger in her mouth and laughs at the camera long enough to distract the driver of the vehicle. Since she wasn't paying attention to the road, Ivana could not see the curb up ahead. As the car made its way down the street, it was too close to the curb and Natalia's head hit a nearby street sign. It's unclear exactly how fast the car had been traveling at the time of impact, but the graphic video shows the exact moment when Natalia collides with the post that forcibly causes her body to lunge to the right. Screams from Ivana can be heard at the time of the crash, as the footage abruptly ends thereafter. Natalia was immediately transported to the hospital with serious head injuries, but unfortunately died within hours of arriving. Her friend Ivana was arrested by authorities after pinpointing the exact road sign that Natalia collided with. Tire marks confirmed that the dented red Kia Picanto car butted the yellow curb at the moment of the accident. Police initially believed that alcohol may have played a role in the hazardous crash, but after testing, they released Ivana and cleared her of any wrongdoing. It was determined that the driver did not break any laws, and her friend died by her own negligence. A friend of Natalia's from back home noted that Natalia was grieving in the Dominican due to her recent divorce and her ex-husband not seeing his son as often as she'd like. She was quoted saying Natalia was a caring daughter, a good mother, and financially supported most of her family. One of the saddest details in the story is that Natalia's family came to learn about the tragedy from the internet. An investigator later called her family to confirm the news. And prior to the accident, Natalia was sorting out her visas for a real estate business where she sold properties to wealthy Russians back home. After her death, Natalia's former husband, Alexander, had to fight to be given custody of their son and keep him from ending up in an orphanage. For now, Natalia's sister said she will continue to look after the young boy with the consent of his father. The story only gets more convoluted when Natalia's family realizes they can't pay the $20,000 that it would cost to fly Natalia's body back to Russia. Natalia's family were under the impression that Natalia didn't have insurance when she traveled abroad to cover the cost of transporting her body in the event of her accidental death. However, it has since been confirmed that Natalia was covered by insurance, and the coverage will enable her body to be transported to Russia for a proper funeral with her family members by her side. There is no further information as to whether or not the transportation was successful, but Natalia was just 37 years old at the time of her accidental death.